How much trouble could one girl be? My name's Adam Cook and I'm here with Mick Fraser who has played and reviewed the living hell out of Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Is that the correct name for this game, Mick? Yeah, that's what it's called, mate. Yeah, the Nathan Drake collection. I'm not sure why, because he's in all of them. How amazing is it, or is it not amazing at all? It's a corker. Let's, let's get down to it then. What, what are we talking here? We're talking 1080 across the board? Uh, we are, yeah. yeah. Numerous Stable? Uh, technical improvements, yeah. But is it a stable 16? Like, do you, do you notice any frame drops? I mean, anything I major? Haven't, no, not at all. And I mean, this is, it is the, the, obviously everyone will probably remember if they played Uncharted, uh, Drake's Fortune, the first one, that it, it was quite notorious for uh, frame rate drops and screen tear and such. It's been How long has it been since you sat and played Uncharted? Since, well, when it came out. I'll tell you the one I've played recently um, is Uncharted 2 because I was trying the PlayStation Now thing out and... Um, I don't know if it was the streaming quality or what, but, I, you know, great game. Uncharted 2, widely regarded as the best of the trilogy so far. I didn't think it looked amazing, and, and looking at footage of this, well, there's no, regardless of me looking at it, how, how does it look? Let, let's just talk through the games briefly, 1, 2, and 3. I mean, obviously, 1 is quite old now, 3 is not quite as old. How do they look now on the PlayStation 4 in the light of day? It's a strange one, actually. The first one, uh, Drake's Fortune, on the surface of it, it looks a lot better straight away. Like it's obviously smoother. Uh, they've put a lot of uh, extra work into the textures, the lighting, and all that sort of stuff. The character models look really good. Um, there's a lot more depth, a lot more detail to it. Obviously, because it's nearly, is it nearly ten years old? I'm not sure what year the first one came out. A bit sketchy on it, but it must be around ten years by now. Um, the first one, yeah, things like the special effects, like when there's an explosion. The, the fire still looks a little bit superimposed and a little bit unreal and things like that. But on the whole, the, like the animation, uh, the combat, all that sort of stuff is a lot is a lot tighter. Um, and yeah, it, it definitely looks better. It doesn't look, it still doesn't look on par with the other two. But they've done a hell of a lot. I mean, it, it's hard to describe it. And you wouldn't know so much playing it if you didn't play the original version of it sort of first so you could compare them in your mind but it's you can definitely see a difference i mean two things spring to mind is that sometimes playing an old game in 60 frames um kind of can feel weird because you've got this right amazingly modern silky smooth like butter frame rate in a game that kind of looks like it probably shouldn't have it almost no there is a little bit of that actually when you, i actually said it in the review when you're um well, particularly in the first game, there are moments where, I mean, anybody knows, Uncharted knows that there are big cinematic set pieces that sort of... Yeah, are the, the staple signature. of that series. Really. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, when you're sort of controlling Nate and you're running um, along a burning ledge or something, and you've got to make a jump and you've got to land that jump with a bit of precision, it mm. sometimes feels almost too fluid. Like, right. it's quite... I, I, well, maybe it's because I'm a little bit rusty on Uncharted, but I, I found it quite difficult, particularly in the first game, to um, sort of think ahead properly when I was trying to do things quickly. So I, it led to a little, like quite a few trial and error deaths that I don't remember from the first time I played. I don't know if it's something to do with that, but yeah, I think I think it definitely feels um, sometimes a little bit too slick for its own good. But this is, I mean, this is a collection for, it seems to me anyway, a collection for uh, people like yourself and myself who genuinely love the Uncharted games, but also... And I think this is why it's such a smart thing is um, this generation especially has seen a large jump of Xbox players who've moved to PlayStation. And I don't want to have the discussion about why or or whatever, because we all know why, I think. Um, But there's a lot of people, uh, even on our team, who have not played an Uncharted game because last time they were Xbox 360 owners mm-hmm. and now they're PlayStation 4 owners. So, you know, there's a lot, for, I think there's, for you and I, well, maybe for you and I, there's this new, like, incredibly difficult difficulty. Which I'm not going to play. I, you know, you and I both love the Souls game, but it's a different kind of difficulty here, isn't yeah. it? This is, yeah. You know, this is like COD on veteran, I'm guessing, and ridiculous. But it's also it's- got, uh, like, a, a, a super easy mode, right? Yeah, it's got uh, Explorer mode, I think it's called, where it's yeah, it's sort of all the combat's reduced and the puzzles are easier and things, and it's kind of not really 
much fun. I mean, it, I don't <laughs> really know why it's there. I don't know if it's, I, I mean, you can't really bring a younger. Well, I was going to ask that could, kids Uncharted. couldn't play Uncharted. I mean, no, oh. no, it's the equivalent of a sort of Indiana Jones movie, but well, he's still kind know. of mowing people down and getting yeah. headshots. And... Drake leaves a serious trail of bodies in his wake. I mean, mm, there's been articles and stuff written over the years about how you know he's, he's really charming and agonises about killing people in the cutscenes, but then during the yeah. gameplay, you just blow countless guys away with shotguns and rocket launchers and what have you. So it's very violent, and obviously. He's not. I wouldn't say he was foul mouth, but he, you know, he, he spits his odd. He's cheeky. He, he, yeah, he, yeah. He doesn't. Yeah. I, I mean, so, I was, what I want to ask you then, really, this is a, this is a difficult question to ask, and I think we'll end on this question, and I'll just let you um, tell people both both sides of the story then. So I want to know for someone who has never played an Uncharted game, is this an utterly essential PlayStation Four game? And I want to know the same answer to the question: if you've played all of them. Maybe even more than once, like I have. Is it also an essential PlayStation Four game? Right, the first one is easier to answer than the second. So the, okay. the first one is yes. If you've not played Uncharted, if you've always been a 360 or not, or if you just never bothered, or you didn't, or you you bypass the series for whatever reason, if you've never played Uncharted, this you have to buy this. I can't stress that enough. This is one of those games, uh, one of those franchises that for me kind of defined a lot of. The last generation. There are a lot of things that this series did first before anybody else. I mean, you wouldn't have games like Tomb Raider um, now if you didn't have. Or the, the, sorry, the Tomb Raider the way it is. I was going to say that's a really weird thing to say, but I totally get where you were going. A mo- modern day. Yeah, Lara Croft wouldn't have gone in the direction that they've taken her now if it wasn't for Uncharted. And oh, absolutely. So yeah, if you've never played Uncharted, if you've never seen the series, if you've never got into the franchise, you have to buy this game. Yeah, if you're a big fan, if you've made this if you've made the leap from ps3 to ps4 and you've you maybe sold your ps3 or if you played uncharted a long time ago and you haven't played it again since then again i would say this would be essential but if if you've if you're a long-standing fan and you've played uncharted and you're still playing uncharted and you've never really stopped maybe you're still in the uncharted 3 multiplayer which is absent but yeah anyway so i mean if you if you're still playing Uncharted, if you're the sort of person who's still doing the speed runs on it, and which also is <laughs> included in the new collection as a speed run mode now, but yeah, then maybe not. If if it's something that you're still because it's even though it looks a lot better, there's not really anything added except the difficulty modes, the photo mode, the speed. Actually, no, yeah, it's essential either way. <laughs> yeah, yep. just... 1080p, 60 photo mode. I mean, this game's going to be one that's all over Twitter because uh, people are share photos. Go to go to godasageek.com, read uh, Mick's full review of the game, uh, in, which will be probably more in detail than this. This is a taster, really. Uh, go to patreon.com slash godasageek and give us any money you can spare and help us make more content like this. Thank you very much to Mick. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. buttons there just just click them just click them and do what they say quickly quickly before they go away quickly uh, unless you're on a mobile in which case they're not clickable but thanks bye